the sea here. Hi guys and gals. Well, it is Sunday, 12 noon. Yeah. So I just got back from church. Uh, Mrs. DC is working today. And, yeah. We just had a first drink at church. And I'll have a second drink over here. Europe. In that respect, we're very different. Uh, you know, the fruit of the vine is... Is ca we keep on drinking it. <laughs> oh, so a little bit of a chat. I was going to have a tree vlog yesterday, and now you notice that the lawn is green, but you can probably see far off there's a touch of snow. It snowed in the night um, between Friday and Saturday. So, Friday, just at the end of work, they I managed to trim one of the smaller trees, but this is the what I would call the tree vlog tree. And uh, it was, it was well, there was snow all over. It all melted now, as you can see. But the thing was, I don't climb in the ladders and uh, when it's all slippery and everything. That can be kind of dangerous. So it'll be for another time. So I had my tree vlog subject, which I'll talk about when the time comes. But, uh, yeah. Today was a kind of a special church service because we were on the radio. Yeah, so... Uh, you know, people have to get there a little bit early, which I forgot to actually. I I got there at the normal time and then uh, slipped up uh, very quietly. Well, I mean, we weren't on, we weren't live. We were hearing the news and stuff like that. And then uh, eventually they said, "Well, okay, everybody, it's uh, it's coming." And what we didn't see is that all the radio people were like in the basement um, and doing all you know the the amps and so on. And it was pretty cool because, I mean, they did manage to get people to do some jazz and stuff like that. And uh, uh, kind of a modern modern service, but with a good message. And after, like I say, we had we had drinks after uh, together to talk with the radio people a little bit and so on. It got me to wondering, you know, like, at first I was thinking, like, do people still listen to church services on the radio? I mean, like, with today with the internet and... All the possibilities of watching, I mean, for years and years and years, watching a church service on on television, or uh, maybe there's less now, I don't know. Or, But the radio, of course, permits, if somebody wants to do something when you're actually, you know, occupied, that you can't actually be in front of a screen, but you can at least have it in the background. And I was thinking all of a sudden, well, well yeah, there really is a place for radio. I uh, listen to podcasts um, all the time all the time and so finally the radio is a kind of i was going to say the predecessor to to the podcast isn't it in a way i mean people uh, like we we vloggers you know we tend to think you know that we we're <laughs> reinventing something i suppose i don't know i'm just saying that but finally uh uh the morning men on the show or morning women on the show uh were uh, being kind of like in a way the vloggers of before haven't they i mean they a certain amount of things are scripted, but not everything. And then before, I think, things are scripted a lot less than they are now. Yeah. So, what else is coming up? Um, two weeks' time off to Africa. No. No. <laughs> not true. Um, Africa is about... Uh, it's the end of March. But in two weeks' time, I'm back to uh, Ireland. Uh, and uh, I guess you can see Africa is on my mind because we're just trying to get it get it actually into that mode of how it's going to be it it's really going to be going to a different world and I am looking forward to making videos there and uh, and vlogging about it but I don't know how it'll be I really don't I mean we're we're part of a kind of almost going to say almost part of a diplomatic mission kind of kind of and uh things change quite regularly but we are very going to be very much <sighs> imposed by protocol as to what we can do and cannot do and probably i mean i know i've been asked to take you know to do some filming and stuff but um how spontaneous will i be able to be i don't know i'm just looking forward to it it, it is uh it is interesting to see uh a new culture 
But this is, you know, it's a new culture. And for me, it's really going to be up to a point, a new world, isn't it? Because when Africans uh, come here, um, they do, you know, they bring part of their culture with them. But, uh, of course, they're in our part of the world. Now, I'm going to be going, well, we, uh, as I'll be with Mrs. DC, will be going in their part of the world. It'll be interesting. Anyway, so, yeah, so, I mean, as you can see, I'm just jumping from one thing to another, coming over to say hello, and, uh, yeah, I guess that uh, that's about it for now. I will, uh, like I say, Mrs. DC is just coming later on today, so go and have lunch and um, see what I'm going to do. Probably watch some YouTube videos. What else? <laughs> catching up, catching up. That's right. Okay, well, is that it? Yep, DC signing off. Take care, everybody. Hope you have a great Sunday. Bye.